Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to look at the construction of a rack and pinion mechanism. And we are going to do the motion study. Click on new, assembly, okay. Go to sketch, right plane. Pick circle. So a pitch circle diameter would be 30. Smart dimension. Thirty. Click OK. Click on construction line. Draw one vertical line. Draw another horizontal line. Click at the end of this line. Hold on shift. Click this line. Click at the end. Symmetry. Okay. If you want a rack of width 30 millimeters, we will add radius of this circle. So it will say 30 plus 15. So we want a rack of thickness 30 plus 15, which is the radius of pitch circle diameter. Click OK. Now exit. Go to design library. Click on toolbox. If you can use inch or metric, but we are going to use metric. So double click. Select on power transmission, double click. Double click. Now, click and drag spar gear and drop it here. Then give it some time. You will see this window. So we are going to use a module of three. Then we want 10 teeth. Pressure angle will be 20 degrees. Face width, we can give 15. And then half. So it's the half. You can, you can select to be one side, both sides, or none. So we'll select both sides. Half diameter, we'll leave it at 12. Then overall length of the hub. Overall length will have to be larger than the face width. So if face width is 15, we can add 3 to be 18. Okay, so you can see the hole. Now we can decide to give a QA, square QA, which is here. And then show it. Click OK. So the system will give you a copy, and we don't want a copy. So click cancel. So our next option is to draw the rack. Go to design library. Click on rack. Hold. Drag it and drop it. We can set our module. Module will have to be the same as the module of the pinion. Pressure angle will be the same, 20. Face width will be the same, which is 15. Now our pitch height, we had said our pitch height to be 30. Then length of the rack, we can leave it at 500. And click OK. So here is a copy, but we don't want a copy. Now, our, our next thing is to give relations. Go to assembly, met. Click on vertical line. And select on this face, this back face. Select coincident. Okay. 
select on one edge, which is this one, and select on this line. Click OK. Our gear is fixed. So you need to right click on this gear, and then make it float. Okay, and then go to mate. Select on this face, and select on this face. And then coincident, click OK. Our next option is to align this circle with this, circle, with this gear. So click on this circle. Select on this circle. Make it concentric and click OK. So you see our gear is fully defined. Click OK. Now we are going to adjust our rack. Make sure it does not touch the gear. Click on the rack. Edit appearance. Click on the gear. Edit appearance. Body. So now our gear is done. Our next option is to do the motion study. Now for motion study, click on motion study. Click on this arrow on the right hand side. You can click on negative sign to increase the number of seconds. Drag any of these blue lines. So you'll drag this one to let's say one minute. On your left hand side, it reads animation. So click on this arrow and select basic motion. There is this option of contact. Click on this contact. Now we want, we want our rack and pinion to pin contact. So select both of them, click OK. Click on motor. So our motor will be the gear. So click on this circle. So direction can drive this. We can change direction. Click here. And then speed. You can say 5 RPM. Click OK. And then click on calculate and give it some time. When it has done calculating, you can now click on play. Our account pinion mechanism is now working. Thank you for watching my video. In my next video, we'll now look at the application of rack and pinion mechanism. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel.